in the school boys ask God again, we're going to demonstrate that. What happens when we make changes to an appointment and that appointment happens to be delegated to other people? So first off, I was in conversation with Pam, and Pam told me that I forgot to include somebody on a mail message, and so she said she was going to go ahead and just delegate it to those people. So I'm in Pam's mailbox, and she's going to delegate this appointment in all instances of it to you, and we forgot to invite Lex to the meeting. So we're now going to invite Lex, hit send, and yes, Pam wants to keep the original, so we're going to select yes. So we're going to switch over, and we're proxying over to Lex's mailbox. And now Lex has that appointment that's been delegated to himself, and he's just going to accept all instances of that. So now Lex will also be invited to that meeting. So let's see what happens when we change the meeting again. So I'll just go to myself. I'm going to resend. I'm going to want to change all instances. And I want to change something like the recipients list. So I'm going to add Stephanie. And I'm just going to resend this. So what will happen is my message will add Stephanie to the list. What happens when, let's go to Pam. Pam has the mail, the original message. If we look at the contents of it, we'll see that Stephanie's been added to that as well. So we see that Pam received the change. There's no new appointment. All it was was simply a new add to the mail. Let's look and see what happened with Lex. Lex has delegated this message. And if we look at the original message, and we go in to take a look at it, we'll see now that the modified list, the original invite list, has added Stephanie, and that is also transferred down, right down to Lex. So in this demo, we showed you that when an appointment is delegated and the original appointment has been changed, the person who has delegated the appointment to will also see the change in the original message. This includes the changes to delegated messages.